So how's everybody doing? I thought I'd send out a, a quick uh, video. Um, this is uh, actually May 18th, 2023, in case uh, time goes by. Anyway, the financial markets and interest rates and the media is focusing on a whole lot of uh, negative news and some positive news. Uh, inflation is a mess, but regardless, uh, it's created a Quite, a, quite an issue with uh, people wanting to pull the trigger to buy a new home. Um, consumer debt is at an all-time high uh, in this country with uh, credit card and consumer debt, car loans, um, things like that. So I wanted to get a message out to people to make them understand that, you know, the home equity situation in this country is at an all-time high as well. We've got at least, I think it's an average uh, nationwide average of at least of a hundred and close to one hundred eighty-five thousand dollars in home equity um, for everybody that owns a home or has for the last four four years or so. Um, that equity is just trapped in your home, does you no good, uh, but yet consumer debt has continued to rise. So I put together a couple of uh, scenarios uh, to show you a few facts where you could actually sell your house take advantage of that home equity that you have and reinvest that equity into a new home with a debt consolidation at the same time as a purchase. Uh, mortgage insurance uh, rates are all risk-based now and uh, the premiums are pretty low. So if you take and you buy a larger home with a 5% down payment, your payment may go up slightly over your overall um, um, monthly expenses but using a, uh, a rate calculator showing you your blended rate with credit cards and uh, consumer debts, uh, you may be better off uh, financially to buy even at, even at a higher rate and give up your lower rate that you've had on your house for the last three or four years. So I um, wanted to put this together. Um, it's a great way for you to actually help the housing market yourself by uh, allowing more um, homes that are affordable uh, for the first time buyers and stuff so that you can move up into your uh, newer home um, at a higher rate and eliminate a lot of uh, interest expense. So let me get into showing you that and uh, we'll see if it makes sense. Okay, so take a look at this uh, blended rate calculator. I can go through a scenario specifically to you um, if you want me to, um, be more than happy to do that. Um, I just chose uh, somebody that had a two hundred thousand dollars mortgage, currently paying three and a quarter percent interest on their mortgage, uh, twenty thousand dollars worth of uh, credit card debt at a twenty one percent interest rate, um, a ten thousand dollars credit card at a twenty four percent interest rate, uh, fifty thousand dollars in auto loans at around a six percent interest rate. Um, and then another credit card for $10,000 at 21% to come up with a blended rate and a total uh, amount of indebtedness of $290,000 for 6.276%. So current rates today are close to 6.75. They're, they're starting to trend down a little bit. Um, but with that being said, you do have uh, an opportunity to take that extra money that you've got in your equity pay off all of your monthly debts and then go buy a larger home and put 5% or 10% down, depending on how much money you've actually been able to capture. Um, I put together a few scenarios um, for a $400,000, $450,000 and a $500,000 uh, home loan purchase um, with, uh, with an interest rate of 6.75. I didn't include any taxes or insurance into this scenario. Uh, because it, it kind of skews the numbers a little bit. Um, I wanted to show you the actual cost of, of the mortgage with the mortgage insurance and the interest. So um, if you look at these, you got a payment of $31.60.01 for the $500,000 home and a payment of $25.28.01 for a $400,000 home. And you also have no uh, consumer debt at that point. You're paid off. Um, I think a lot of consumers are sitting around in their homes just saying, I just don't want to let go of my my uh, higher rate or my low rate to get a higher rate uh, to buy a house. And they're worried about their home equity in 
putting all that money down on the new home that they buy. I can tell you that interest rates fluctuate. They've been fluctuating. I've been in the business over 30 years and they've fluctuated as high as, you know, eight and a half to 9% with during my career um, and all the way down to like two and a half percent. So rates go up, rates go down. Right now, they're pretty much peaked at the top. So I can guarantee you, if you go buy a new home, your rate is going to be temporary. Temporary meaning it could be six months, it could be 12 months, but believe me, there's going to be opportunity for you to save additional money on your mortgage payment as uh, time continues to go by. So if you're interested in, in going over some scenarios, um, I do have some programs uh, to help you um, understand what kind of home equity you do have uh, through a system called HomeBot. Be more than happy to, to show you that system and enroll your home in that system to take a look. Um, if you need to get a, a real estate professional, I work with many real estate professionals that would love to come over and give you an estimate of your house and not necessarily force you to sell it or uh, get you into a contract to sell it, uh, but give you a good valid uh, broker price opinion so that you knew kind of what your house would sell for and how quickly it would sell for uh, to analyze the amount of equity you have. And at the same time, we can look at uh, figuring out a way to get you um, out of debt. The best way to retire um, is through home equity and wealth, but only if that money is working for you. So consumer debt will just eat away at your at your retirement, um, especially if you've got large uh, minimum monthly payments that you got to make that are not necessarily paying down on that debt um, so that you can start building that home equity and be able to use that home equity uh, for future investment and uh, retirement. So um, I'd love to help you out. Just wanted to get this out. Uh, maybe you might be interested in in pulling the trigger sooner. Um, once interest rates do start going down and everybody jumps on the bandwagon to buy a house, it's going to be a, a, a frenzy of, of buyers with, with limited supply, which is going to continue to cause prices to go up and up and up. So um, timing is important in real estate as well as location, location, location. So let me know if I can help. I'd love to help you out. Uh, my contact information is included in this video. Thanks.